Hello, I'm Mr. Bbates1 and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add your very own custom emojis. And yes, this is NPC me, but he does have a mind of his own, so you know, he could wander off any minute now. So I better get straight to it. Now, if you're not familiar with emojis in Minecraft, I did do a video on this a few months back. There'll be a link in the description and a card at the end if you want to check that out. Now, as always, I like to show you things in action and then I like to show you how to do it. And what better place to show off the emojis than Bobbin's Market here on the old Autocraft world. Now, as you can see here, all over these signs, we have emojis of all sorts of various kinds. Now, some of them are some of the built-in ones, but there are also some custom ones that I've imported as well. So let's just take have a look at what we've got on these signs here. So we've got like, rockets for one mine coin. We've got Elytra for 25 tokens for 1 million stars mystery chest. We've got fresh batteries for our agent. We also sell food, which is one mine coin for six. And we exchange mine coins for tokens. And just look how much more colourful that looks, you know what I mean? I, to me, it just looks a lot more cooler. I really, really like it. You've already seen and you can use them anywhere. You can use them literally anywhere, as you've seen. There's already in the NPC. We've got them all around on the signs. You can even put them in books. As you can see, we've got the Minecraft symbols there in books. I mean, we can even stick them on name tag. And now if we put that on our cat, there it is. Now everybody knows that's my cat. No one is going to mistake him for anybody else's because it's got my face on it. The only issue that we actually have using uh, emojis in Minecraft is they don't, it doesn't natively support it. You know what I mean? So you can't just strike a key on virtually and paste them in. So in order to, to use these emojis, you do need to use like an offsite converter to do that, which we'll explain in just a minute on how we do this. Obviously, this is a pain. We don't always want to have to be going offsite every time. I have managed to find using the new game test API a way of using them in chat. Now, let's just take a little example. So I've put in chat, how about that? Mr. Bbates1 just added these cool emojis for Minecraft, and now you can too, without having to spend any mine coins or tokens, and you can use them in chat with ease. Just like this, as you can see, it's just tech, but then as soon as you press enter, boom, all the emojis are filled in. Now, how cool is that? Now, unfortunately, these shortcuts don't work on signs and books and stuff like that. You know, I'm still a noob at the game test. So I don't know everything. Maybe there is a way of doing it in the future. Who knows? If there is, we will certainly update it. But for now, this looks amazing. You know, you can use it in chat with these. And, you know, if you want to use it on signs and books and stuff like that, then, yeah, you can go to the site, which we'll show in a minute in the, in the next section, uh, and copy and use it in just like I've done here. It still looks amazing. It still looks cool. And I really, really, really like it. Let's take a look then about how we get custom emojis into Minecraft. So to start off then, we are going to need some external applications or the equivalent of to be able to get this done. So the first thing that we're going to need to use is some kind of uh, image editing software. Now the one that I'm using for this uh, tutorial is GIMP. It's a free software and you can just download it and use it and it's quite useful. It does a lot of nice things. And it's actually how I'm, what I use to make my thumbnails with. The second thing you're going to need is a text editor of some kind or a code editor. Now I use uh, Code Writer just because it's very simple, not very bulky, and it's okay for quick edits and things like that and stuff. But you can use other things like Bridge and Visual Studio or Visual Code, whichever it is you like, whichever works for you. Now that we know what we need, let's get straight into it. So first things first, we're gonna to need to get a hold of the original files. Now the files themselves don't actually come a part of the example packs that they offer to download on minecraft.net. They actually come with your device. They're on every machine. All you need to do is just go to the right place and take a copy of it, and then we can start editing it to add in our custom emojis. So if you're on a PC, then the location you wanna go, it's C, Program Files, Windows Apps, and then it's Windows Minecraft UWP, and then it'll be the version number and like some weird numbers and all that is data, resource packs, vanilla, and then font. And in this folder, there is loads of various different PNG files. And the two PNG files that we want, they're right down at the very bottom here on the glyph E0 and glyph E1. Now for the time being, we're just going to take a copy of that, and paste that onto our desktop. Now these are the original files that contain the emojis. As you can see, there they all are. And the other ones are in this file. There's not many in this one. So what we'll do is we'll be editing this one because there's a lot more space to add stuff in. Now that we've got our files, we want to put together our resource pack. Now this is done by setting up your icon, your manifest file, and then you want to create a folder called font. And then in this folder, you want to place the two files that we just copied. <clears throat> now you've got your two files, you just simply pick which one that we're going to edit and open it in our editing software. So now that the file is open, it's time to add in our custom emojis. Now this is the actual one uh, that I'm using in the actual demo that you saw before. So I've already got them added in here. So all I need to do is just unhide them to show them what I've added in. So what you do is you grab it, you bring it into your software, 
when you're placing your custom emoji. Now the actual space is a 16 by 16 space, so you need to make sure your images are that. And if you do that, they'll actually sit quite nicely alongside each other. And if we un oh, if we unhide all the others, you can see. Oh, I'm not very good at unhiding every one of them. And if you unhide them all, there you go. You can see there all the custom ones that I've added in. So once all the emojis are placed into your file, you save your file in your editor. So you've got a copy of it, export your image out and save over the existing image in your folder. Which, in this case, because this is the one we're using in game, it's this one. And as you can see, there's our custom emojis. So now that they're actually in the file, all, all you need to do now is use the correct symbol um, and you can use them in game. You'd add this font, this uh, resource pack to your world uh, and when you go in your world, you, you can simply use the correct font and it'll look just like the emojis that you see. Now to get the correct font, all we need to do is simply go to the wiki.bedrog.dev concepts emojis.html and there's a thing right down at the very bottom here that tells you how you put the actual code together and then it'll convert it into the right symbol for you and uh, and that's how you get your emoji in so if we just scroll up a little bit from this you can see there's actually two images so this is the e0 file that we copied and each one of these grids uh, places has a grid which corresponds to where they are same for the other file as well now the actual numbers are the same on both files they don't differ it's just a different file each time so the, the numbers can be the same place and as all you need to do is you place your emojis into these squares these 16 by 16 squares and then you'll use these numbers to convert the correct symbol and it explains how you do it here depending on which file that you're in will depend on how they work so the first two characters will always be a zero and a hex uh, zero and a hex a hex a zero and an x and then the next two characters will be the last letter on the file on the pngs now there was e0 and e1 now for us we were editing e1 so that's what that's going to be and then the next two characters are the position of the image itself. Now on the actual E1 file, my face was on 08. So if I pop in 08, that is then our hex code. And then all you have to do is convert it, and it comes up with this symbol. So if we flip back into Minecraft, and we just copy that symbol that we did from that website, as you can see already, it comes up with my face in the chat. And you can press that, and it will paste it in. <clears throat> but obviously, as I mentioned before, this isn't always easy to go to this website all the time and do now while you're developing the pack and stuff like that this website is your best friend you just simply go here all the time convert your numbers save them into a notepad because that's what i did just save them all into a notepad and then i can use them in, in in all these signs and things like that and paste them on just whatever i need them to be now in terms of the part of the chat now that's actually a separate thing so that's a behavior pack so i think now that you've actually seen how you can add them in it's very simple you save the file you export it save it in that folder add the resource pack Use that website to convert it, and then you can paste it on any sign, book, name, tag, anything you want. So now the next stage is, is to look at the little sort of chat bit, and then this is a separate behavior pack. So let's take a look how that works. So how do we get the emoji shortcuts in chat? Well, using the power of the new game test API, we can do wonderful things that add shortcuts for custom emojis in the chat. Don't believe me? Try typing in the chat below these letters. Now this is actually the Minecraft sign that we have on the front of the book and what was in our NPC. So if we paste that in and press enter, as you can see the Minecraft sign pastes in chat. Now it's not perfect, you know, you can see in places. Minecraft tends to put a gap in places sometimes. But how cool was that? Now the thing is, this is the commands for all the built-in ones. As you can see, there's a list of them. So every single built-in emoji is listed here. All you've got to do is simply paste one of these in the chat, press enter, and it will display the emoji. Now, in order to add your own custom emojis, uh, all you need to do is modify uh, a file that I have created, which you can just download, which is called emojis.gs file. And using the Bedrock Wiki, you convert your emoji, you paste the results of that into this JS file, create your own little shortcut, and then Bob's your uncle you can use your emojis in chat. So what is this emoji.js file then? Let's take a look at that. So what I've done for this then is I've just created my own behavior pack and here's the behavior pack. I've got the usual pack icon and manifest and I've got a folder called scripts. Now just ignore the entities folder because that's just what I'm using for my custom NPC me. Uh, so we've just got a folder here called scripts and in this folder is a file called emoji.js. Now we just want to open this up with our text editor and now here we are, we can see uh, some JavaScript. Now this stuff here is basically just utilizing the game test API and it's capturing elements within chat before they are posted, converting the uh, shortcuts into the relevant symbols, and then pasting it into chat. 
Now, if you're not really familiar with the game test stuff, it's fine. It's okay. Like I said, I'm offering this file to download. I'm a noob at it myself. It's completely brand new. Uh, it's not perfect. You know what I mean? It's. I mean, this works. Uh, but, you know, if you can make it better. Like I said, it only works in chat. If you can make it better, by all means, go for it. But, yeah, I'll offer this. And all you have to do is simply take that converted value from the website. As you can see here, you know, I've got my name. I've got the converted value here. They all look like just squares with uh, question marks in. You just follow the same format to add your own. Like that. You just add the next one in sequence like that. And you can have any shortcut you want. You know, it doesn't have to be like what I've got. And that will convert it to an emoji. And then all you do is you save that file. Attach that to your world as well. Go back into your Minecraft world. And then you can add it in. So the important thing to note with regards to the manifest changes is basically these modules. And the dependencies that I've got listed here. So obviously the first module you always put is your data module. But then the next one is, is that you must declare your emoji script in your manifest and you do this by using uh, another module declaration type of javascript and again you must give it a unique uuid and then in the dependencies in order to use this you must add both of these it's mandatory if you don't add them the behavior pack still won't work now one thing to remember using the game test api it does require the option to be turned on in settings if you don't turn it on the chat won't work for the behavior pack so just remember that you simply go to settings, game, and scroll down, and you need to make sure that game test framework is ticked. And that's it. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all guys next time. Bye.